good day welcome this is your daily med with lady v today we want to introduce and look at the practical benefits of the gospel the benefits of salvation and they are eight in um, romans chapter 5 verse 1 through 11 so i'll just go ahead today and introduce them to see what the Apostle Paul was saying. He had already made his case for justification and he carries his case for justification forward another step by saying to us, yes, there are the benefits of justification in a believer's life. So in other words, does it really work? Sure, justification works. There are major blessings that every believer possess when they by faith believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and is justified by him. These blessings flows to the believer through Jesus Christ himself. He is the mediator between God and man. And all God's gifts are channeled through him. And so when we look at Romans chapter 5, it says that the believer enjoy great benefits. Those that who have been justified by faith. We sing often, if you only knew the blessings that salvation brings, you will never stay away, never continue in sin. If you'll only see the table that Jesus Christ spread, talking about the blessings that he gave, you will never stay away. His door is open wide, the invitation and he bids all sinner to come. It is freely given his grace. There is nothing that you have to pay. Because Jesus Christ himself paid the wages for our sins. He died on the cross of Calvary. So be wise. Step inside into his banquet hall. And receive the blessings that he has for us. Do not stay away. Sin has its consequences. We hear we do not have to live in sin. The wages for sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. So the Apostle Paul describes the blessings of salvation. In today's world, there is so much concern, even so much worry about the pressing issues of life. Maybe for a young person is getting into college or getting a good paying job. For the adults, it might be paying bills. If for everybody, it's the health problem, the issues that we face, and the list goes on and on and on. On the minds of many, certainly it's not salvation for the here and now and afterwards eternal life. But today I want to remind you that there are many benefits of salvation for the here and now. So the Apostle Paul says, since we have been justified by faith, one of the blessings we obtain is that we have peace with God. That peace is for the here and that peace is for now and we need peace. So we will talk further about peace. Another blessing that we receive is access by faith into God's grace. We stand in his faith.
favor. Another blessing of salvation that we receive is joy in God. Another blessing we can hope in God. Another blessing of salvation is joy in tribulation. We have victory even when we suffer. Another blessing we have is that we have the love of God poured out in our hearts. Another blessing of salvation is that the Holy Spirit is given to us to guide us, to give us direction, to give us comfort in the time of trouble, and to bear fruit within us. Another blessing we have is that we are saved from God's wrath. And we also have the blessing of reconciliation by his blood. So as the Sangman says, we need no other argument. We need no other plead. Yes, it is enough that Jesus died. And that Jesus died for me. That Jesus died for you. Therefore, we do not have to go on living in sin. We do not have to carry the cares of life upon our shoulders. They are too heavy for us. They are burdensome. But Jesus Christ says, Come and cast all your cares upon him because he cared for us. So why not trust Jesus Christ for salvation? He says, today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your heart. Jesus don't really tell us to do anything that doesn't come in with a blessing once we are obedient to what he says. And truly today, salvation comes with blessings. Why not accept Christ, what he did for you at Calvary, and receive the practical benefits of salvation, of the gospel, of justification, of what Jesus did for us at Calvary. It is my prayer, it is my hope that you will receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and begin to enjoy the benefits that salvation brings. God bless you. Thank you again for watching and may God bless the U.S.